In this video, we explore Old Town San Diego on Cinco de Mayo to see what it's like in 2021 and what's the most central area and hotel to stay at around San Diego. Find out next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series here in Old Town San Diego celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Just last year, we were doing Cinco de Mayo in the de-escalation process here in San Diego. Nobody was out. It was a ghost town over here in Old Town. And now it's almost like we're starting to get back to normal. We're in front of the famous Fiesta de Reyes, but there are tons of Mexican food restaurants here in Old Town and we're gonna try out a few. And then I'm also gonna show you a really central hotel that is pretty budget friendly that you can stay at when visiting San Diego, which is basically in the heart of San Diego. Stay tuned for that. We're gonna go check out Fiesta de Reyes, see what's happening during Cinco de Mayo. I'm also rocking the Mexico World Baseball Classic hat. Shout out to all my Mexican fans. What's up? Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy hour from four to six, so if you wanna save some money, check out that happy hour. I also spotted tamales cart right in front of Fiesta de Reyes. You might have to try that a little bit later. Inside Fiesta de Reyes, they have a nice little courtyard where you can dine and have some nice Mexican food, to play some good Mexican music. Really festive here, but you can also go around to stores like Geppetto's and a few other souvenir shops. I see chocolate and espresso and then handmade tortillas right here, Tienda de Reyes. Now that's a cool shirt. I had to get that Taco Tuesday shirt. They have a Cinco de Mayo shirt, but you can only wear it like once a year. I like that Mamacita shirt and I hate tacos said no one ever is pretty cool too. I just picked up an overpriced Taco Tuesday shirt from Tienda de Reyes, but hey, you know what? We gotta pump some money back into the San Diego economy and support local business, so that's what I'm doing. What I really love about Casa de Reyes are, are these awesome outdoor corridors, cool Spanish style spots. The inside, I mean, it's super cracking right now. Just walking through it is pretty amazing. You also got Fiesta Cochina. They also have like a garden store we just passed. Look at that, Mr. Carne Asada. Also a cool classic tile shop. Also the gardens here around the plaza is beautiful. I definitely recommend taking a little lap around Fiesta de Reyes before checking out other spots like Casa Guadalajara, which we'll see, and the Bazaar del Mundo. If you want some hot sauce on that bag swag and some Javier's handcrafts, there you go. So that was Fiesta de Reyes. Now I wanna show you a really nice central place in San Diego to stay. I'm actually staying there tonight. It's a couple of miles away in Mission Valley. It's the Spring Hill Suites and it's very central. You can get to downtown in 10 minutes and you're in the heart of Mission Valley. You can get to the beach within 15. Also stay tuned because we're gonna have lunch here for Cinco de Mayo, Old Town Mex. So stay tuned, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this video, it really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing. I have a full library of San Diego content. Now this is not exactly an Old Town travel guide per se. It's more of what's going on during Cinco de Mayo and just focusing on the Mexican food spots and the Mexican traditions around here in Old Town San Diego. So let's go fast forward to JJ back at the Spring Hill Suites. All right, Jaycationers, we're here at the Spring Hill Suites Marriott in Mission Valley where we're staying the night here during Cinco de Mayo. It is a really central area and great freeway access. You got the 805, you got the eight, the five is not too far away, the 15 is just down the road. So there's so many other freeways, 163. So you can access all parts of San Diego from this area and this hotel is perfect, the Spring Hill Suites. We're gonna go inside and give you a little hotel room review and a little tour and just check out the cool amenities that this hotel provides. Let me give you a tour of the Spring Hill Suites Marriott here in Mission Valley. It's a huge room, perfect for families if you're visiting San Diego. Now, I know a lot of my viewers have asked me, JJ, where do I stay when I'm visiting San Diego? Well, the first hotel review I wanted to do was a hotel that was somewhere central, which is here in Mission Valley, accessible to all the freeways because you guys know that I always say rent a car. And if you're gonna rent a car, why not go in luxury here in San Diego and check out SD Cruise and Rentals. Their website is down in the link below. If you use the promo code JCATION, you save 15% off your next rental with them. So we're here in the living room. This couch 
seats about three or four people comfortably and you can also make it a bed. It's a pull out couch. If you're having families, you got two more beds over here. You can sleep about six or seven people here. Right now it's only me and it's really, really comfortable and spacious. We're chilling here on the couch. They have a nice little big screen. You can access YouTube if you want to watch Jaycation, if you want to watch some baseball or your favorite TV shows. They got Netflix here that you can sign on with your own account. They also have wireless internet and the air conditioning here is on point. Have it set to 69 degrees. Another thing I really like about this place is that they have a lot of outlets. They have a hard wire for internet. And if you're here to do some work, nice spacious desk that actually separates you from the bedroom. You get a partition so that if somebody's sleeping, you can work quietly here in the den slash living room. Right across from me is this beautiful TV with two huge drawers. Over here in the kitchen, you got your microwave, you got coffee, they even give you a rainforest blend, ice bucket for you to get ice over down in the hallway, and a nice little fridge where downstairs they gave me this Al Farm Huckleberry Sour Dark Ale, which we're gonna try a little later on in the video. Two nice beds right here with a nice bed stand. You got your classic Bible, alarm clock, and phone to call the front desk if you need anything. And a nice view of Camino del Rio, the Cevita neighborhood of Mission Valley. And what else is really cool about this area is that you got Fashion Valley and Mission Valley just down the street. There's an iFly next door if you wanna go indoor skydiving. And then there's a drive through Starbucks right next to it. A lot of great amenities in this area. And trolley access is literally only a 10 minute walk from here. So if you need to get on the trolley and you don't have a rent a car, don't fret, you can get on public transportation. Next up, you got the shower room that is separate from the toilet and it has its own sink, all your towels are down here, and a nice shower head, conditioner, shampoo, body wash, everything you need, nice, brand new and comfortable, a lot of space here, and then you also got your sliding door here for your privacy if you need it, and a really nice mirror with a square light design on the border. The closet has a ton of hangers, you got your ironing board and your iron, an extra pillow if you need it, an extra blanket and sheets for the pull-out sofa. And if you're looking for your hair dryer, they got that here for you too. Really nice walk-in closet. You can even spend the night in here if you need to. They also got a luggage holder for you to put your luggage on if you want that as well. If you're waiting for a family member to take a shower and you really need to go to the restroom, you don't have to wait because they have separate rooms for the toilet and the shower and then a separate sink for you to use too and also some nice mirrors. Really, really spacious room here in the Spring Hill Suites in Mission Valley. Right now we're filming around lunchtime. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon. It really gets popping here on Cinco de Mayo during their happy hour. So between four and six, you're gonna see a lot more people coming in here. You know, people coming out of work and just wanting to let loose, have that margarita and some tacos, even though it's a Wednesday and Taco Tuesday was yesterday, but every day's taco day, especially on Jaycation, y'all already know that. A little tip for you Jaycationers, looking for free parking on the side of Fiesta de Reyes, there's a parking lot that you can park at. Now there's limited spaces and on the weekends it might be cracking, but it's a little hidden. So just follow the free parking signs on the side before you pass Fiesta de Reyes and you'll see it. There's also a main parking lot right next to it, but that usually fills up during the weekends. So as you cross the plaza outside of Fiesta de Reyes, the Rust General Store and the Johnson House. And no, not Dwayne The Rock Johnson, just the Johnson House. So right behind me is the Cosmopolitan Hotel. No, not the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. The Cosmopolitan, one of the oldest hotels in Old Town San Diego. Over in this plaza, you can't ride your bike, your e-board or anything like that. So usually I just pick it up and walk it through. I actually never walk through the Old Town Market, so I'm kind of excited to see what they have in there. That's a dope Kobe shirt. Check out this little stage right here. Cool guys, so a nice little walk through the Old Town Market. Now, let me pick something up and give it away at the end of the video, so stay tuned. I'll have a question for you and do a special giveaway for people watching. In this area right here is where the Old Town Trolley picks you up, and we're walking back into the main area where they sell a lot of cool Lucha Libre masks and stuff. Check this out, and a few mini guitars too. Shout out to Casa Di Maria. That's my mom's name. They have every team. Happy Cinco de Mayo. This is mi casa es mi casa. Also, if you guys are looking for a bolo tie like my old favorite quarterback, Philip Rivers, check this spot out, Covered Wagon. They have some bolo ties in here. Over on this part of San Diego Avenue, you got Chi Chi's Mexican Cantina and a lot of other Mexican food selections. 
but I want to take you guys to Old Town Mex. Now you got Casa de Fred's as well, the popular Cafe Coyote. Now these are what I call the tourist Mexican food spots. But on Cinco de Mayo, you know, you want to check it out and see what all the festivities are. And they really do it up big. But you know me, I like all the Mexican food like JV's, Nico, Scotijan, all those places that are not in the touristy area of San Diego. JV's is just right down the street, guys. Somebody also just mentioned Cuatro Milpas and then Ed Fernandez restaurant for birria tacos. Right across the Whaley House, which is a popular haunted house here in San Diego, is Old Town Mex, and it looks like there's a line. We'll see if we can get in. Y'all want some fresh handmade tortillas? Cafe Coyote makes them right here, and they're amazing. You might as well check them all out. And then they also have the Infinium Spirits bus here. I've seen it during opening day, and it's cracking here in Cafe uh, Coyote. They even added seats out on the sidewalks just to accommodate so many people over here today. It's awesome. San Diego is on its way back. Right behind me is San Diego's Best. Maybe I'll pop in and pick up a couple of giveaways to give you guys. I need that sticker in my life. This is on and pop in to sit down. It's only me, so I'm just gonna sit down at the bar. There's a separate line for the bar, so let's see how long it takes for me to sit down. All right, time for an outfit change. Three, two, one. So I got their tequila of the month. I got the mango margarita. I don't usually have margaritas, but it's Cinco de Mayo. We're also rocking the Old Town San Diego shirt. It says, and then came Tuesday, and the tacos are like, oh no. Let's try it out. Ooh, that's strong. This is gonna hit. It's been a while since I've had a margarita, so cheers. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. And if you guys like shirts like these, I also have like a California Burrito SD Burrito shirt in my Teespring and Jcation gear. So make sure you go check that out and it really helps support Jcation. Food is here. We got the carne asada tacos. We got one carnitas taco and two adobada tacos. A little mix. We got the five tacos. We got the margarita. We got some chips with the salsa. We're ready to celebrate lunch in Cinco de Mayo in authentic fashion. Let's go. So we're gonna go with the uh, carne asada first. That's why I love Old Town Mex for is their carne asada, so cheers. It's got his golf cart. Mm. These carne asadas are so flavorful. That's why I've always loved it. Even though it's in the touristy part of San Diego, Old Town Mex has always been a great spot for carne asada. I love the smoky grilled taste of this carne asada. So good. Can't complain. Thumbs up. Next up, we're trying out the adobada taco. Oh yeah, that is some good adobada. We got the onions and the cilantro on top of it. Put a little bit of salsa. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna smash all five of these, no problem. All right, finally, guys, we're gonna try out the carnitas taco. It is stuffed, and I am stuffed, man. And you were going to Tijuana? Yeah, these carnitas hit the spot, but I'm full, man. All right, Jaycationer. So that was Old Town Mex. Now back to the hotel and then we're gonna finish this video off back here in Old Town at the Bazaar del Mundo and Casa Guadalajara, so stay tuned. Now let's go downstairs and check out the amenities that they have to offer like the pool and all the cool local beers that they have down at the front desk. I'm here with Eduardo, he's the director of sales here at the Spring Hill Suites in Mission Valley. When you come here, come say hi to him and he'll take care of you and he's gonna talk a little bit about the pool area and why this place is so family friendly and why it's so convenient to be around Mission Valley. Thanks so much, JJ. Well, I wanna tell you so much about our pool here. It's heated to 81 degrees all year round and the location is unbeatable. You can come right down from your room, have a couple drinks here, be with your friends and family and spend a great afternoon with us. So where would you eat that's close by here? There's a lot of places, but my personal favorite would have to be Puesto Mission Valley. They have the most amazing tacos in San Diego. If you also want something that is very typical here in San Diego, you could go to the Cheesecake Factory with your whole family at Fashion Valley Mall, which is literally five minutes away from here. All right, Eduardo, so you're nice enough to show me the king bedroom. Now, it has basically the same amenities as the queen bedroom that I have. They are essentially the same blueprint of room, uh, but your room is actually slightly larger because it's made for, you know, big families. Say, for example, you know, it's a, you're here with your wife and one son or one daughter. Um, this king suite is actually really great because not only you have the king bed, but also you have a pull-out sofa. Uh, 
full-size bed behind uh, the desk right here. Next up, we have the gym area. It overlooks the pool. If you want to get on the treadmill, you can watch the activities going on at the pool. You also got some elliptical machines and some weights and some medicine balls. So you got all the essentials to get your workout done here while you're vacationing in San Diego or if you're out here on business. We're hopping on my miles board real quick. I'm gonna check out a few spots and also show you how close the trolley station is to the Spring Hill Suites here in Mission Valley. So literally a one minute drive or a five minute walk or three minutes on my miles board will get you over to Mission Valley. And there is actually a really cool Korean barbecue spot there that's really good that I would recommend you checking out. And also Kiko's place is just right down the street over here, which is a really great fish taco spot. So go check that out. So literally five minute walk, three minute skateboard ride is the trolley station here at Rio Vista. Now it's in the middle of a really nice condominium complex, but it's just across the street from the Spring Hill Suites. So if you need to get to Old Town or downtown San Diego or even the border, you can hop on this line and get there. You could even go East County if you need to get to East County for some reason. You can get a one-way fare for as low as 250 and then like a regional pass for like six something. Not bad and it can get you over to downtown San Diego and to other parts of the city. So here you go. Here's the trolley stop and there is the Spring Hill Suites. Not too far at all. You can actually see it from the trolley station. Down this street about five minute walk is Dave and Buster's. Good news, Dave and Buster's actually is open now. So things are really getting better. You can go back to David Buster's. I'm sure there's some sort of health and safety protocols in there, but it is back open. You can watch your favorite sports, maybe play a few games and have some nice happy hours over here. And it's only a couple of blocks down from the Spring Hill Suites. All right, vacationers, it wouldn't be Cinco de Mayo without showing you Casa Guadalajara. Now they have some great carne asada here as well and some tacos. If you haven't seen my boy, the Traveling Flats video about tacos in Tijuana versus San Diego, go check that out. I'll link it in the description box below. I went here with them a couple years back. Right across is the Bazaar del Mundo. If I didn't show this to you guys, this wouldn't be an appropriate Old Town San Diego Cinco de Mayo video. So let's go over to the Bazaar del Mundo. Another place I wanted to mention was Brock and Baja Lobster. We're not gonna have enough time to see it, but I just wanted to mention that just in case you guys uh, were gonna be like, dude, how about Rock and Baja Lobster? So yeah, it gets special mention. All right, vacationers, that's it from Old Town. Let's head over back to Mission Valley at our hotel. We're gonna show you a little more about what the Spring Hill Suites have to offer and close the video out over there and stay tuned for the giveaways. So I'm here with Eduardo and Corey. They have local San Diego beers. Corey, can you just talk about like what kind of beers you have here? We're really big into, you know, getting the local stuff in here. So of course we've got a lot of Stone, Delicious IPA. They got this new Dayfall, which is a cool Belgian white. We also got a lot of Carl Strauss in here. These guys are from San Diego as well with a bunch of different varieties of IPAs and such. Coconut IPA, which is a West Coast style IPA with coconut flavor. That's by Duckfoot, which these guys are just right up the road here in North Park. And then these Owl Farm, with, which is a Huckleberry Sour. I'm trying to mix everything up here. Uh, I've got a couple other things as well. Ale Smith, those guys are local here in San Diego. And then a few other beers, obviously, from either San Diego or other parts of the area. What's your drink of choice, Eduardo? Uh, wine. I think, what, six varieties of wine here at the hotel. Um, and I love that Sauvignon Blanc from Kim Crawford. It's excellent. All right, vacation. There's another cool thing you can do out here at night is sit down by the fire pit and just enjoy the San Diego night. I got the Al Farm Huckleberry Sour Dark Sour Ale. It's a 7% beer. Let's pop it open and see how it is. So it's a dark sour ale. Ooh. Yeah, you definitely get that great brown nutty ale type of taste to it, but with some sourness. It's actually pretty good. It's a little different than uh, the other sours that I've tasted. I haven't really tasted something like that, so it's a really unique beer. I know their general manager over here is a big local beer lover here in San Diego. So shout out to him. I'm just gonna enjoy the warmth of this fire pit. It's been a great day, but it's time for bed. Let's go to sleep and try out the breakfast downstairs here at the Spring Hill Suites tomorrow morning. Morning, breakfast time. 
Spring Hill Suites offers breakfast from 7 to 9 a.m. Monday to Friday and 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Now they give you three choices. You can pick a drink. I got my coffee and cream. They give it to you in the to-go bag. They prepare it all for you. So I just got a plain bagel with cream cheese and some strawberry yogurt. So you don't even have to go to the Starbucks across the street. They already hook you up with the coffee. We're sipping on my coffee. We're hanging out by the pool. It's only me out here. They have a couple of umbrellas and tables where you can sit down and have your free breakfast. If you want to get some sun rays, you can come out here to the pool. I think right now they're using a reservation system to actually use the pool. Soon, they're gonna lift that and you'll be able to just come here as normal. I couldn't stay here at the Spring Hill Suites, the most central hotel here in San Diego, without giving you guys some sort of deal. So, what Spring Hill Suites is offering is a 10% discount on the weekdays, Monday to Friday, and 5% on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So make sure you check it out on the description box below. There'll be a promo code there for you to use just for Jaycationers who have watched this video. It's giveaway time. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give away this San Diego postcard to the first person that answers. I've had an Old Town video here in the past, and I did it with two YouTuber friends of mine. Name the two YouTubers down below. The first one to get it, Get this postcard, DM me your address, and I'll get it over to you. The second giveaway, you guys got a week to answer this from the time this video was posted. It's this Back to California sticker that I got from the San Diego Souvenir Shop over there. Now here's the question. What is the name of the Mexican food restaurant that I am eating at right now? Comment that below and you'll be entered over the week for this sticker. Also guys, follow me on Instagram. I have a lot of content on there as well, and that's how I'm gonna DM you to get your address to send this stuff over. One last giveaway. I'm gonna give away this Spring Hill Suites Marriott little uh, to-go sack that you can use at places like the zoo or Balboa Park. You know, throw a little snack, waters, and your camera in there. If you want this, you're just gonna have to comment below, make sure you're subscribed, and answer this next question. What are the breakfast hours Monday to Friday here at the Spring Hill Suites? I'm gonna let everybody answer it for the first week of this video being posted, and then I will pick all the right answers and then randomly generate it, and then pick a winner, and I will let that person know through their comment that they want. So good luck everybody. All right, Jaycationers, so that will do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed roaming around Old Town San Diego during Cinco de Mayo. Things are on the up and up and people are back out in restaurants eating and it was a great time. And also, hope you like checking out the most central hotel in all of San Diego, which is the Spring Hill Suites here in Mission Valley. Shout out to the Spring Hill Suites. And yes, this is a very family friendly place to stay. I love the pool, I love the gym, and it's really, really new still. It might be around five years old. You get access to all the freeways, so I really like this place. Now, if you guys really like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Answer the questions for all the giveaways down below. I'll announce the winners and contact them as we figure out who they are. Check out my Patreon. It really helps support Jaycation in 2021. And if you want to join, it's always sunny in San Diego. I have a bunch of news, travel tips, food recommendations, and give you tips on your next trip here. Also, a special shout out goes out to Vince, Carol, and Eduardo for setting all this up with the Spring Hill Suites. It really is a truly beautiful central hotel. You can get to the trolley too if you don't have a rent a car. But I always tell you guys, rent a car when you're in San Diego. All right, JK Shinners, in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Mm -hmm.